what happened to TGF? TGF has been a part of my life for the best part of 12 years, but it all kind of ended unexpectedly. Bear with us, we'll be back very shortly. But will it be back? The elephant in the room. It is the elephant in the room. Basically, it's just not happening anymore. Okay guys, this is Vocal Pickups and I've converted this van into a portable podcast room. I can pretty much go anywhere I want and speak to whoever I want to about any subjects that I find cool, whether it be fashion, food, or just general interesting people. I can go anywhere. And so we have Amalia with me. She is my business partner and we're working on, obviously I've got this project, but I have Are we allowed to say projects. the name? Oh, I don't know. Can I say the name yet? Can we say the name? Say it. Okay, I'm working on a project called Lone <laughs> Culprit and mm -hmm. it's it's been something in the making for about three or four years now that me and Amalia have been working on. So she's my business partner and one of my very, very close friends. This is a project that was in the making for like two and a half years, guys. And me and the team have put so much work into this. And it's actually a real, real proud moment to show you guys this van. Shout out to Supreme Conversions in Telford because they helped this dream come to life. A shout out to Frankie as well, who made that amazing sign. But this is the space guys and this is the new adventure that i'm going to be doing in hopes of showing you guys a different side of me oh and in other news guys i'm actually in dudley driving through dudley again it was insane man i went through some spots that i haven't been to in years there was this nice little spot where me and jay used to get food all the time and plan videos we also went to uh, blue submarine the chip shop place and if you guys have never tried orange chips from the black country i'm not saying go dudley but yo you need to go and try that but in this van, I'm going to be answering the overarching question. What happened to TGF? Because you all wanted to know and uh, I'm kind of tired of being asked. It's been such a long journey in terms of like, I've been getting invites to go on podcasts for the last like six to 12 months, explaining the state of TGF and how it's like, basically it's just not happening anymore. Like long story short, it's just not. How many times have you seen Jay Naked? Oh my god! <laughs> I drove loads of vans when we was doing like TGF videos, like an unlimited amount. We are going to my hometown. We are going to Dudley. Always love Dudley, always will love Dudley. Why did you want to move out of Dudley? One of the reasons why I wanted to move out of Dudley is because I was living with my mom and dad at the time and I just thought I outgrown living at home and i remember the day like i moved out of my mom and dad's i actually like i did something really like emasculated is that the right word yeah yeah i did something really what amalia just said yeah like basically my mom and dad were sitting in the living room and I, I i went in there and i just said mom dad thank you so much for the last 22 years but i'm moving out now and mum started crying. <laughs> I bet she did. And then she said, make sure you come, come for dinner next week. And I was like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> How often did you go back? For the first three months, I went back like twice a week. I didn't have a washing machine when I moved out. No so I was, I, my mum was like, bring your dirty clothes home and I'll wash them for you. And no. she did. She was a legend. So you just <laughs> went round, ate their food and took your dirty clothes? Oh food. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my mum loved it. She was like, yeah, yeah, come back whenever you want. Did you feel all grown up? When you I moved did out? still, yeah, I did still. So I, I, like, I could make as much noise as I wanted to. It was my problem, you get yeah. me? Oh, there's actually where I used to live. Right next to Ming Moon. Do you know how much stories I heard about them things, fab? Bear Salmonella, I'm not saying to do it now, hand on the steering wheel. I'm not saying they do it now, but I, man never went there still. This was the first place I moved to when I moved out my mom and dad's. It was amazing. Oh, emergency brake. Emergency brake. I moved out with like two of my friends and it was good because it was just like really cheap as well. West Midlands, guys, is so cheap. I can't lie. As nice as the place is, there was a couple incidents that made me think, yeah, this is not the area to live. At one point, my house got bricked by this little, like, little fat kid. Don't rate him. What, you... The air's different here. The air is a lot. Oh I can breathe. my gosh. All my donnies that live in London, yeah. How do you man breathe? Mm -mm. It just smells like BO and it machinery. <laughs> Are you scared that you've lost who Ramel is? Partly, because I feel like the Ramel 
from T. Jeff persona. It's just like a very exaggerated part of my personality. I felt like that part of me, like who is that person? We were filming the world's smelliest car. The night before I was filming the last part of that video, my mum went into hospital. Didn't really tell anybody because I just hate trying to make things about, guys, I'm not feeling it today. I was like, no, i got a job to do. Mum's going to so be okay. So the others didn't even know? Not really. I told them after we did the shoot mm. because I, I didn't want anyone to think, oh, like, oh, Ramel, now we don't have to record today. I was like, whatever. My health in TGF was terrible. I wasn't looking after myself. I mean, it's not we possible. spoke. How many times did you get concussion in one year? There's a fact somewhere here because mm. I did look at it. I looked at an N how many times an NFL like player gets concussed in a season and then I, I matched it how many times I get concussed. I think it was half that amount and I was still like, that's not right. I'm not a pro athlete. <laughs> no. I'm not a pro athlete, man. The amount of damage I've done to my body. What lasting damage have you done? I think it would. It might be asbestos. You breathed it in. That's what... Uh, how many buildings that we've gone into, the asbestos there was bad, but also I've damaged ligaments. I think I've sprained my, my ankles at least about 30, 40 times. No. And I've been concussed about at least about 40 to 50 times so i could name any pick one i was still dealing with the police at that time whilst recording as well did you feel really stressed if one thing that tdf's taught me is that i'm so good with stress i've uh, there's got so a high threshold yeah i've got a high threshold of stress so so much going on in your life that people don't see because all they see is a finished nah. like clean cut video of you laughing having a good time yeah yeah and, and do you know what I, I was having a good time and yeah. like god bless the boys they were, mm -hmm. they were amazing did that like hit you all at once and think i've got to change my life tgf isn't working for me no uh, do you know what? it was one of the reasons why I, like i felt like quite disillusioned to tgf was the whole reason why we wanted tgf to be like what it is and like to earn money and mm -hmm. to to, to get to help our families when we can my mom was one of the big reasons man like yeah. i wanted to make money so that if they came to me with a problem mm -hmm. i could solve that problem my mom and dad wanted a washing machine i could do that mm -hmm. do you know how much of a blessing that is mm -hmm. like and i wouldn't have been able to do it with people without the people that watched our videos mm -hmm. but i got to the point where i thought to myself why am i even working What's the point in working so hard if I can't do what I set out to do? The current location where I'm at right now is actually Waterfront. And Waterfront is next to Merry Hill, where me and Jay got banned repeatedly for doing TGF videos there. So we're actually currently just outside of Merry Hill. This is the amazing thing about this project is that I can go anywhere and have conversations with interesting people or anything that's just really cool about United Kingdom or Europe, you know what I mean? Go to different food spots, park up, talk about it, document it and show you guys, man, what you're possibly missing out on. I'm super, super excited about this project. I can't lie. You're probably going to see this this van improve little by little in the next few weeks when I'm going to consistently upload. And since this is the first episode of this sort of era, this episode is going to kind of just be about me. I'm being very, very selfish, so I can't wait to show you guys exactly what's up in there. I can show you guys what I've kept to myself for a very, very long time. And hopefully you can learn more, more about me throughout the next months, weeks, days, years even. And make sure you hit the link in the description because you're going to see the full length podcast there as well. Love you guys.